Well, hello everybody, I'm Art, and welcome to our 200th video special. And this is where we go over the general stats for the channel and talk about the past and the present and the future a little bit. And well, this is where my plan for these specials kind of goes awry because, well, I had to take some unexpected breaks over the last year so far that I uh, didn't have to do in the prior versions of this. So previously it'd been about six months in between and 50 episodes. Well, it's been about nine months since the last one of these. I think I did it back in November of last year. So this might give a better view of how viewers and subscribers go up on a per video basis over time instead of just doing a raw count over a specific period of time. Hopefully this is useful to some of you. Now, last time I did this at the 150 video mark, I had a little under 20,000 views, a little over 1,000 hours of watch time, and only a little bit under 150 subscribers total. In the last nine months, however, we have skyrocketed. We are just shy of 100,000 views now, and we probably by the time this video airs, it will be well over that mark. We're over 6,000 hours of watch time, which to me, it, that's just baffling. There's an average right now of around 20 or so hours per day of videos watched. I, I I, can't thank you all enough for watching these. It, it, it absolutely is mind-blowing that people spend that much time per day watching my content, even though I'm still small and basically nobody. We've gained almost nearly 500 subscribers, and we'll probably be right about there when this video airs also. So thank you everyone who is watching this, who has subscribed, who has commented, who has liked, or who, you know, hated it and still watched it anyways. You all mean the world to me. Now, over the last year, there's some other statistics that are actually pretty relevant because we had done some new things for the first time. Like if we look at our total watch statistics, you can see that it spiked dramatically starting in December and up through February. And that's because we opened up a community server between myself and my good friend Raka, who administered the server for all the mods eight. And there was way more demand than that than I would ever have suspected. I mean, we're not talking humongous mounts. We're not talking high pixel or anything here, folks. It was like a hundred and some people whitelisted, but that was far, far, far more than either of us expected to ever see. And it was extremely overactive for a while and it was a lot of fun. And I had a great time playing with and meeting all of you. Now you notice while there's a spike in February, it did drop off a bit after that. And that's because the server started dying and having issues at that point. We had a massive rollback. There were a lot of lessons learned from doing this and it got worse from there. But the server ultimately ended up dying. If you watch my last All The Mods 8 video, I kind of went into the fact that it pretty much died irrevocably. So, um, yeah, maybe we'll pick a less crash prone pack next time we try to do this, eh? Now, that said, my numbers kept going up even after that, even after the server died, even after I had to stop doing videos for two months. And it was an interesting period of my life because back in February-ish, well, we hit some brand new milestones. One of which was we pretty much pegged the top of the chart for the Indomagna 2 search, which the whole time I was filming that series, the top 10 videos in that were fairly static with the first two always being Hypno and Direwolf. No changes, never. Those were completely immutable pretty much the whole year and a half I spent filming that series. And then last winter, between me and Extra Cool Cat, we took the number one and number two spot for quite a while. And then Lashmat came along, kickstarted a new series, and the ratings have been completely in flux since then. But I'm still pretty much usually above the fold with both either my tips video or my playlist. And that's frankly an accomplishment. I never expected it to do that well. I never expected it to crack the above the fold area. So to be consistently in the top 10 there, that's amazing. Now, I've talked about this before last time too, but during the, the January, February time period was when I started also getting suggested by Hermitcraft and Empires folks. I think I talked about this last time. It started with FWIP and built up from there. And for a quite a while, especially during January and February, I was routinely getting recommended by videos from Etho and Threefold. And let me tell you, those are two of my biggest inspirations from when I started and from when I continued on. So to be in the same league as those two, absolutely phenomenal. Now that said, I did completely lose traction with the recommendations engine at some point and I don't really know what happened. But 
what did happen was I apparently have succeeded at search engine optimization. And I am the top listing or this one of the top three on Google search or YouTube search for quite a few random topics. Go ahead, go look it up, I dare you. Go search for advanced generators. Go search for XNet. Go search for Thomcraft riffs. And guess whose videos show up? Thousands of people making modded Minecraft content and yet for some reason, my stuff punches through to the top. I have no idea why, but I'm currently generating roughly about 400-ish views a day, which just like the hours is completely baffling to me. But I can't complain that I'm succeeding because success is a good thing, right? So let's pull back the curtain a bit and show you what's going on here for the future. Now that we've completed Glacial Awakening as well as all the mods eight. And here we are in my tutorials creative test world here where I mostly make thumbnails. And most of these are backdrops that I created for making the thumbnails with. And they don't look impressive until you realize I'm coming up like this, masking the sides and the top, and taking a th screenshot. But this is because I'm going heavier into tutorials. Because if we look at what I've been getting for my daily views, it's almost all in either tutorial content or videos people are using as tutorials, which is also part of what I'm using to guide what needs to be made. Because if people are finding, I don't know, say a video on Applied Energistics or XNet or Corail Tombstone or something in one of my All the Mods or Enigmatic series, and they're using that over and over and over, and that's punching up into my search results, well, that tells me that there's probably a pretty big gap in the actual YouTube search. And well, somebody needs to fix that, right? I mean, I'm hopefully I'm not screwing these up too badly. Hopefully I'm creating useful content, right? Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Hopefully I'm doing a good job. If I was doing bad things, you would tell me, right? But that begs the question of, well, Ard, what, what are you going to do in the future? And yes, for the short time being at least, I'm going to be continuing to do tutorials. Part of that so that I can try to reach a larger audience, which is, you know, also the same reason people always say, subscribe, like, comment, blah, blah, blah. And I say it at the end of the videos too sometimes, because all of those things help tell the YouTube algorithms that maybe uh, maybe you should show this video to more people. But in my case, I'm just trying to create more content people will actually want to watch and or hopefully find to be useful. Because if it's not useful, why am I making it? So I'm gonna continue doing that because frankly, it's quicker to kick out a lot of that style content for me than it is to do the Let's Play style content. And if you watched the end of my last All The Mods 8 video, clearly I have plans and I'm going to try something a bit different with my next Let's Play series. And it actually kind of worries me because I'm not sure if I can pull off the style that I'm going for. Because I kind of want to go into more storytelling while also still doing the technical bits and bobs. So I'm probably going to break it into two playlists. One that's just story forward and building forward and one that's going into all the technical bits of what's going on in the series itself. Basically extracted out from the story as kind of an aside and still usable as tutorial stuff, still usable as a play along, but will be segregated out from what will just be there for entertainment purposes. I have no idea if this will work. I have no idea if I can even pull this off, but I'm gonna try because I mean, what do I have to lose? I have an empty creative test world here in less than 500 subscribers. But hey, it can't hurt to try new things, right? Worst case, I fail and then I don't do it again, yeah? So that's the plan and it requires a lot of forework that I'm gonna have to do before I can get started because, well, to build a story, I've got to have this basic infrastructure to get the story started and, well, quest-based mod packs tend to start you with sticks and stones. So we'll see how this goes. It might be a few months before I actually kick it off. I don't have a timeline yet, but I will still continue kicking out new content because I love y'all. Anyhow, I hope this was interesting and entertaining for some of you. Hopefully it pulls back the curtain a bit on how some of this stuff works and how views and user traffic and subscribers and whatnot work for a small channel. If you found this interesting and entertaining, I already told you to like and subscribe. As always, I'm Ard. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.